I just recently beat a full campaign of Remnant 2 with the brand new Corrupted Meridian, and boy do you need to craft this thing. Not only is it a major upgrade for the gun, but it also makes the explosive mod spam build deal way more damage. This build here makes use of excessive mod power and regen to bring you the blast damage you always wanted, and it also has enough survivability to keep your playthrough smooth. This is the explosive mod mage build and how you can create it yourself. For the Prime class, you want to select Archon. This offers the best increase to mod damage as well as increasing how fast your mods can regen back. We also want the passive ability to take a Relic and regain a large chunk of mod power, which is extremely useful for breaks in combat. Fully get your best abilities back and then be ready for a new phase of damage. The skill you should use is Reality Rune. This creates a dome that protects you and slows anything that enters. This grants 25% damage reduction, which is the difference of surviving a hit to completely dropping. And since we'll have better AoE size, the bubble will be quite large. Use it if you think you're going to take a hit or if too many enemies are throwing projectiles at you. This skill in particular is a large addition to the survivability of this build. As for the subclass, you'll want Medic. I tried running with Summoner as it provides much better mod damage bonuses. However, the damage from Meridian just instantly kills your summons way too quickly. I mean, half the time the summons just die 20 seconds into the fight. I also found Medic to be much better for surviving the overall gameplay. You have better healing, a bit of team healing, and can better use your relics. It also provides a bonus of 25% damage to everything, which will boost Meridian's mod and the gun's bullets itself, letting you use it in either form effectively. For this skill, you want Healing Shield. This is the best ability Medic has to protect you from damage without stopping the flow of combat. Use it defensively to eat an attack or throw it on when you take some damage and can't quite eat a relic yet. The shield saved me many times through this playthrough and lets you feel more comfortable fighting large groups. Armor got changed in the recent patch, so you might want to experiment with what you can throw together. For me, I stuck with the full Labyrinth set as the gauntlets offer excellent damage reduction and you have the cleanest Archon look that you're going to get, also keeping us in a medium dodge roll range, which is essential. Be aware that if you're fighting the Ravager specifically, it's nearly impossible to dodge his attacks without a light roll. I actually just took off all my armor for that fight and it was way easier, but other times the Labyrinth armor does the job nicely. For your Relic, you want the Constrained Heart. There are other options for more mod regen, but you honestly don't need them, and I found the better healing from this Relic to be the perfect option. This guy will heal you for 5 seconds. During that 5 seconds, you will also gain 2 stacks of Bulwark. This means you can actually heal through attacks if you have the Archon bubble going and just took the Relic. Since Archon makes any Relic grant mod power back, you can slowly take your Relics throughout the battle to gain healing, defense, and mod power all at the same time. I love the extra synergy that it had here. Then you have the Relic Fragments. I went with Elemental Damage, Mod Damage, and Ranged Crit Chance. Now the last one, Ranged Crit Chance, is not going to help your mods, but it will help Meridian's main fire mode, so you can use Meridian to its fullest potential. Another good one here is Extra Stagger, but the crit on Meridian was kinda nuts to tell you the truth. For weapons, you want the Alpha Omega, Krell Axe, and Corrupted Meridian. Alpha Omega has the best spammy mod as it regens itself and has a low power requirement. Also being able to hit 5000 crit at once makes it insane for this build. Don't use its gun form though because it's just too slow. The mod lets you attack rays that when you reload or swap weapons, the rays explode. Adding more rays adds more damage, and it basically deletes everything once you're used to it. Add in the Mutator Harmonizer. This provides a nice damage bonus to the gun's mod damage and helps you chunk health when it explodes. But the better effect is actually that it generates 25% additional mod power for the stowed weapon, which means Meridian will generate its mod much faster. And since it's the new gun with the busted mod, we want that to be usable as often as possible. The Krell Axe is a nice throwing melee that just got an insane upgrade. Throw on the Mutator Stormbringer. This is a brand new mutator that increases the status effect damage applied by melee attacks by 50%, which means the shock applied by the Krell Axe now does some incredible damage. Plus, this also makes any thrown Krell Axe weaken enemies to all statuses by 10%. Game changer, and you probably won't see me running anything but the Krell Axe on most of my new builds. We're also going to have burn from our amulet, so this lets you throw the axe and gain two statuses that now deal effective damage over time. Really easy to throw in for boss fights especially. Lastly, you have the Corrupted Meridian, of which you came here to see. 
this thing now fires rockets as its main fire mode. And the mod itself explodes about 18 cluster bombs at once, which gets two charges. The main fire mode is very powerful, but the mod will instantly drop everything and destroy bosses. It's an absolute crazy mod that you're going to have a lot of fun with. Then throw on feedback, which will generate mod power based on damage dealt with the Meridian. This will let you spam the new mod twice as often. In the end, you have two guns that have high mod spam potential and the Krell acts to get high damage over time from burn and shock. As for the amulet and rings, you want the blast damage special. Detonation trigger increases blast damage by 25% and adds burning to all explosions, allowing us to easily apply burning and deal way more damage. Burden of the Gambler increases crit chance and damage but removes weak spots. Neither of these mods are able to hit weak spots and Meridian can't either in its main fire mode, thus not giving us a downside at all and greatly upping crit in the process. Burden of the Follower will increase mod power generation by 50%, which helps you spam those mods and is such a massive increase we can't live without. Probability Cord increases crit damage by 30%. Both of our mods have excellent chances to crit and this gives it the best possible damage when doing so. Lastly, we have Stone of Malevolence, which will increase mod power generation when dealing elemental damage. All of our attacks apply some form of elemental damage, increasing the spam even more. With all of this together, you gain some insane crit power, and because of the change to Meridian, its mod is guaranteed to crit at least once per shot, usually a lot more than that. As for the traits, I did forget to change the glutton for the video, but everything else worked great. Flash caster to cast mods at higher speeds, kinship so you don't die to your explosions, triage so your relic actually has nice healing, vigor, endurance, spirit, and expertise because those are the basics. Then you're gonna want amplitude so even if you aim near the enemy, the explosion still drops them. And then glutton since we're taking relics quite often and we'll want to do so as quickly as possible. Finally, we have the Concoction, which will be Bottled Shadeberry. This provides 10% additional mod power generation, making you the fastest exploder in the West. The difference with and without this is actually more than you would think, so be sure to use it. And that's about all you need to make this one. Use your relic to gain mod power back and provide some survivability to the build. Cast either of your skills to protect you when damage can't be avoided, and then hit those mods out as fast as possible. The new Meridian is awesome and very fun to use like this. Paired up with the Alpha Omega, you can get some high damage, and the Krell Axe adds a lot as well. There are also some variations of this that you could do with the mod damage instead of crit, so feel free to be creative, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed with this gun. Hopefully you enjoyed this new Mod Mage build, and good luck with the awesome new Meridian. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.